seaside. Yes, I'm on the Welsh coast. I've just found a beautiful little uh, sandy cove. I've asked permission. Yes, I can detect here. So, watch this space. Let's get out there and enjoy the sand. Oh well, here's the first signal. Um, not sure what this is. Oh. I thought it was going to be something of an oil can, I don't know. Don't know. Um, pass. Don't know. I imagine it might have come off a can or something. Don't know. Oh well. Not bad for a first hole on the beach. Uh, a couple of feet away. Where is it now? There. Round about 42, 44, all the way around. And I've got this on beach mode, trash reject. Yeah, wants to be found, doesn't it? Don't know how much trash it's going to reject. <laughs> Still in there. Get rid of that one. Oh, it's very heavy, claggy, black sand. Still off. How off am I? I think it's bigger than I think. Right, out. Now I'm not going to be able to sift this, so I'm going to just chuck it there and I can see it already. So I'll put that back there. It's a big lump of something. I think it's part of a toy car. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think so. The bonnet or something of a little white toy car. There we go. Maybe I'll find the rest. This one is. Oh, get my bag around there. Um. Similar to that other thing I found, isn't it? I think. Yeah, probably just a bit of a beaver tail, a bit of an old wrinkle. I think. Probably, anyway. Nothing interesting. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Where did you come from? Hello. <laughs> You're lovely. Mm, that one's a little uh, lead pellet. There you go. Little lead gun pellet. Okay, don't know what they're shooting at. Perhaps just target practice. Right, let's carry on. It's really blowy, but I'm lucky I've got a decent set of mics. So hopefully, all you'll hear is that signal. So, not very deep. Should be able to see it actually. Let's just lift her up. Oh, looks a bit rusty. It's out. It's out in the spoil already. Oh, sounds a bit trashy now. Too happy, isn't it? Is that it there? Yeah. Okay. A ring pull. Let's chuck it in there. I thought it sounded a bit too happy. I hope whoever chucked that on the beach is happy as well. Not. <laughs> if you can see the dial, it's a very, very strange mixture. I think I can see something there. What's that? What's that? It's not what I think it is. Hmm. No, it's not. Don't know what it is. I thought it was going to be a shotgun thing then, but I'm not entirely sure. Bloody heavy. Brass. Yeah. Okay, I'll pop it in the bag, see if I can get anything off it later. Another nice little jumpy signal. Round 
round about there. Not very deep again, so let's see if we can get it out first time. Yeah, I think we have. So it'll be in here. Let's see what's in here. Other than a stone. Oh, what the heck's that? What the heck's that? A bit of a cable connector, I think. Yeah. Gosh, you get some weird stuff here. Anything thus far, so why would I start finding stuff now on the way back to the car? Because I'm going to go to a different beach. Well, it says it is out, and amongst all that... There, okay. That's what it says. I'll just check it's not in the scoopful I've just got out as well. It is, okay. Okay, let's see what delights we have. Where was it in this one? Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. But apparently there's another bit of it over here. It is the stuff that was going white. So that would make me think it's something cheap metal that's somehow oxidised or whatever it does. Yeah, I see a thread going round that bit now. Okay. Um, uh, rubbish. Look at this. Friday night. I know how to spend my Friday nights. I mouse in Aberystwyth. And I'm about to do some metal detecting on the beach before the tide comes back in. Let's see what I find. I've been up and down here. As you can see, it's very stony. And anything more than two inches below the ground, you can't get any deeper because it's just hard stones. But I've just had this out of here. Luckily, it wasn't too far down. Very old and very battered. And I'm going to say it's just a bit of junk really, but it was someone's junk once. And it's been in this water a long, long time. It may have had stones in at one point. But uh, I'm going to move on to a sandier beach now, a bit further down the coast. There's a little bit of detail on there. But you know what? I didn't expect to find it, so... I'm glad about that. I've actually found something other than little tiny shards of metal that look like worn down um, ring pulls. <laughs> Yay! I found a ring! Woohoo! <laughs> and underneath this pile of stones and grit was a coin. I knew it was a coin. Unfortunately, it's a very crusty modern day two pence piece. However, we picked it up under all these rocks I had to move. Let's fill them back in again. Can't moan, could have been something exciting. Okay, just found this. Looks like it could be part of um, an oil lamp or something. Gas lamp maybe. Something marine. It's very heavy, it's made of brass. Um, if you've got any ideas, let me know. Perforations around the edge. A little bit out there. So maybe that's where a twiddling knob went through, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to get off here now and head for Sandy Shores. She was a singer, wasn't she? <laughs> uh, whatever one of those is. <laughs> Not sure. Um, very heavy. Oh, and uh, yeah, easily dropped. I don't know, some kind of a gas canister maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Let's carry on. A couple of the things I didn't film. I had a, well, it's going to be a 20p, whatever that one is. Um, yeah, I think that's got Queen Elizabeth on it. So I'll have a better look. That was really deep and under rocks, that was. I don't know, it doesn't quite look right, but it's copper anyway. Um, yeah, I'll give that a clean up later. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think it is a young Queen Elizabeth there. Lots of these 
random bits of fishing stuff, these weird pieces of tantalising metal, and that 2p, that ring, and that thing, and that thing. Right, let's skedaddle and get on to the next beach. Finally, some soft golden sand on a fairly deserted little bay for me to go and play on. My last chance before heading home. Wish me luck. Let's see what my first signal is going to be. A bit damp this bit. What have we got? Up. Oh, there's a five pence piece. Modern day 5p. I'll get it out and we'll carry on. I've got this little uh, thing up here. Probably trash. Remains of a some kind of a ring. I'll get it out. Hold on a second. Oh. There it is. Um, oh, I see. It's a moon ring. Um, can't see if I can see any. Oh, there's something in there. Might be some hallmarks. Or it might just be a make. I don't know. Hold on a minute. Um, no. Don't know. Something. Looks like there's something ale. Oh, is there something there? Oh, anyway, it's just a little bit of bling. Nice little little moon ring. Oh. Just on this little tributary bit, I've got a signal there, not far from that blue pencil. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? I did have to dig it out a little bit, but it was a little nugget. Pound. One more pound. <laughs> oh. Pound coin. That's all right, isn't it? Probably not um, usable anymore. It's got a weird pattern on the back. Um, thistles. There we go. Thistles. Let's carry on. A slow walk back to the car, but I couldn't resist a quick photo of that. Look at the green on those walls there. Tides going back, so it's all fresh and vibrant. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at it. So lush and colourful. Oh, how wonderful. It's even spitting with rain, even better. <laughs> the mighty manticore enjoying its day out on the beach. Oh, look, it's starting to pour down now. Lovely. Cool me down a bit. I'm a bit hot. All right, making my way back to the car. I'll just go by where the uh, folks are playing volleyball because you never know. It might be a bit of loose change shaken out and then I'm going back. I'm very hot and very steamy and despite the rain it's absolutely boiling. People are still going in the sea. I'm going home. I've got about two and a half hour drive. Just thought I'd let you see the sea again behind me. Still a few people on here but I'd recommend this beach. If I can remember the name of it I'll tell you. <laughs> well I'd recommend it for bringing your families to, not necessarily for metal detecting. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for joining me.